Hi, and welcome to another Tasteful Adventure. I'm your host, Michelle Tucker. Today we will be visiting a restaurant in Boulder called La Italie. The chef is Radic Cerny, and we're wine pairing with Stag's Leap. Come on in and join us for a fun, fun pairing of wines and great food. And welcome to another tasteful adventure. I'm your host Michelle, and we're here today at La Italier with Radic Cerny, our proprietor and chef. We're located at 1739 Pearl Street, and here we are for a Stag's Leap fabulous wine dinner. Radic's preparing the food this evening for this wonderful event. Radic, tell us about your restaurant here and how long you've been in business. I've been in business a long time, long time. since 15 years old, wow. and uh, this, this is my number probably 20, yes, restaurant. I have only one right now, but I have many before. Right, and, and this restaurant here, this is, has some of your best, finest chefing that I've ever had here in Boulder. This is the number one restaurant in Boulder. Radic is the most talented chef. I have been dining here for 10 years and never had a bad meal. So let's take okay. this inside. Radic, are you ready for this evening? I'm ready. Good, let's go get them. All right. Hello and welcome. Uh, Appreciate everyone making it out. We have a nice full crowd today. Tonight we're going to explore and we're going to talk about the history and we'll talk about where it's come from, from Warren Ronowski and carrying on his legacy today. Cheers tonight. Please enjoy. We're going to start with the Sauvignon Blanc and our first course will be coming out shortly. Thank you. Stags Lake Wine Cellars first became famous in 1976 with the Paris tasting, the Judgment of Paris. It was the first tasting where they had 10 reds and 10 whites and put some California wines up against the French first growth and second growth, and also some Burgundy wines, both red and white. In that tasting, Stag's Leap Wine Cellars, our SLV 1973 Cabernet, won at the Paris tasting, putting Napa Valley in California for the first time on the map in the wine world. I am really, really happy they are here, and very lucky they are here. Uh, we can tell you what we're going to have. First course is going to be Thai mango and coconut salad with, uh, with kaffir lime, pistachio, and lemongrass. We're going to pair that with our Stag's Leap Wine Cellars Sauvignon Blanc. We are pairing it with the 2009 vintage from Napa Valley. A beautiful, elegant expression of Sauvignon Blanc, not too crisp and not too oaky. Food pairing is really critical in our business right now. Radic here at L'Atelier, he's French cuisine predominant, and so perhaps his wines are going to be a little bit more leaner. There are going to be wines that are lower in alcohol. They're not going to be so unctuous and bodacious. Second course is fresh cut tagliatelli pasta, spring peas, prosciutto, and lobster butter. We're pairing that with our Stag's Leap Wine Cellars Hands of Time Chardonnay. The Hands of Time Chardonnay and our Hands of Time Wines are a tribute to all the winemakers that have gone through the vineyards and worked through our cellars since its beginning in 1970. Number three is Grill Lamb Saucisson, Belly Beluga Lentils, Oven Roasted Tomatoes. That is also with our other Hands of Time wine, which is a red blend, a majority Cabernet blend with a touch of Merlot to round it off. Number four is Forever Braised Beef Short Ribs. I have to wake up really early today to put them in the oven, so I'm kind of tired already. And we have it with? That's with our Stag's Leap wine cellars, our Artemis Cabernet, 
Our Artemis is our Napa Valley Cabernet that basically shows the true expression of Cabernet and what it's all about from Napa Valley. So when you are going to your local wine shop, and I hope you come to Hazel's Beverage World, which we're very, very proud to be part of here in our Boulder community, and we will be selling these wines as well for this evening. But when you do come to your wine shop, be mindful of what you're asking. Give them a budget. Always give a budget. Don't be shy. It really is, it's okay to, to be under 10, under 15. Um, there's beautiful wine out there and we can, uh, we can accommodate you in whatever your needs are. Last one, we have a French cheesecake, Le Atelier, which goes with that is actually with our Chateau St. Michel going up to Washington, our Chenin Blanc ice wine. With that wine, we're going to talk about the partnership of Stagsley Wine Cellars today, which is currently owned by the Marquesa Antonoi family and Chateau St. Michel. In addition to that, we will also have a little taster to be able to enjoy, which is actually the Stagsley Wine Cellars SLV Cabernet Sauvignon, which is the original wine that won in the Paris tasting although this is our 2008 vintage, not the 1973. So cheers and please enjoy. Bon appetit. And coming up, I'm about to show you how to make those amazing braised ribs. Okay, so we're going to change the oil, rotate the tires, do a tune-up and set the alignment. Just have a seat and we'll call you as soon as it's ready. Um, am I in the right place? Of course. Here at Mazda of Lakewood, we do the same thing for your car as we do for our racing team. Mazda of Lakewood Service Department will get you back on the road in record time, just like our race cars. Visit us on West Colfax Avenue or at MazdaOfLakewood.com for all things Mazda. Next in line, please. Congrats on your new Mazda. You're going to love the close ratio six-speed manual transmission. And with the Skyactiv technology, you're going to feel like you're in a race car. In a race car. In a race car. In a race car. <laughs> Dave. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. I'm great. Introducing the all-new 2014 Mazda 6. Lease one today for $249 a month for 36 months only at Mazda of Lakewood, Colorado's number one Mazda dealer. In today's recipe, I am going to make you the most amazing braised beef short ribs. And it's a pretty simple recipe. Stay with me and watch me go. We are going to add a little olive oil to it, two tablespoons of olive oil. Give it a nice coating. Let that heat up. My beautiful short ribs are from Marzik Fine Foods down in Denver and they buy all their beef from Nyman Ranch and what I'm going to do is just put them down at the bottom of the pot and you can hear that sizzle. It's gorgeous. Lay them in nicely and what we're going to do is we're going to give them a nice brown beautiful coating. Salt them. I'm going to pepper them up it's about two, two tablespoons at least of pepper. I like a lot of it. Let's turn them. And here you go. They're, they're beautiful. So I'm going to let these brown, and they're well on their way. Here I've prepared a beautiful chicken stock. And in this stock, I started it with a fresh, fresh chicken from um, the 63rd Street Farm. And it was beautiful, white, gorgeous meat. And what I did is I boiled that meat up and I take all the fat off of the top, I skim it. I'm not showing you this today, like I said, because it takes so much time. But what I have in here, I let it come to a boil and I skim the top for any fat and then I add one large onion to it, I add thyme, I add carrots, I add um, uh, shallots, which I like, not only a yellow onion, but I like a shallot in there, thyme, salt, pepper, 
and here is my stock and a little bit of uh, parsnips, which is my favorite. Can you see how beautiful and brown those are? Wow, these are gonna be awesome. Now brown all sides. You know, don't just brown the flat bottoms, turn them up on this side and get them nice and brown. These are nice and brown. I'm gonna take them out of the pot right now. Look at them, they're gorgeous. Ooh. All right, we'll lay them down. Nice and brown. We're going downtown on the brownness. There we go. This is six cloves. I like it garlicky, so in it goes. Okay, I'm gonna add some shallots. I've got two small shallots sliced up, and now I'm gonna add my celery. Beautiful, mix it in, gorgeous. My carrots. Look at that go. Now, I'm gonna wait till these are nice and tender. Um, I've got the olive oil. I'm gonna salt and pepper these babies again. Okay, and I would put about a tea teaspoon of salt and just pepper to taste, I mean, me, I like a lot of pepper. You know me, I'm like wild with the grinder. These are getting there, they're softening up. And I picked out a nice Ladera. I always use good wines to cook with. My husband has a heart attack. He's always like, why are you using the good wines? Use the cheap wines. Ah. Oh well, I like, we have a nice little cellar downstairs. Um, like I said, Roberta from Hazel's is always bringing neat little surprises over. Um, hopefully I could get Roberta to come on the show with me and pair some wines and uh, with my dinners. But today I have this Ladera that I've um, dished out a cup of it and I'm going to be adding a cup of red wine vinegar Sorry, that's a half a cup of red wine vinegar and a full cup of wine. I've got my tomatoes all chopped up. That's going to go right to the bottom of this. Wow, that looks amazing. A fresh thyme. Put that in there and just mix it up. Wow, it smells beautiful. I have my rosemary spring. Let's put Cut that off. It's gorgeous. Throw that in and give it a mix. Again, salt and pepper it. You added new ingredients to it. And salt. And your chicken stock. Add that. That's about two cups of chicken stock right there. And we're going to reduce this a little bit. So turn up your flame, get it cooking again. And now we take our beautiful braised short ribs and we place them into our gorgeous casserole. And just submerge them right in. Yummy. Gorgeous. Dip them right in. And this is going to need to cook for three hours on a slow heat, a low heat, I should say, slow heat, of 300. There we go. They set it in there. Stay tuned. We're going to take a short break. And after the break, I'm going to prepare my egg noodles for you. Hi. Do you have a dark blue Dodge pickup with a black interior? Yeah, we've got a few of those right over here. How about a midnight black Chevy Aveo with under 5,000 miles? I've got a couple of those. Want to test drive one? A Metropolitan Gray Mazda 5 for under $15,000. You know we've got it. Let's go take a look. Mazda of Lakewood is the number one Mazda dealer with the largest certified pre-owned selection in the state of Colorado. So, yes, we've got it. Wow, she's good. I'll take it. 
Okay, so we're going to change the oil, rotate the tires, do a tune-up and set the alignment. Just have a seat and we'll call you as soon as it's ready. Um, am I in the right place? Of course. Here at Mazda of Lakewood, we do the same thing for your car as we do for our racing team. Mazda of Lakewood Service Department will get you back on the road in record time, just like our race cars. Visit us on West Colfax Avenue or at MazdaOfLakewood.com for all things Mazda. Next in line, please. Hi, and welcome back. Um, now I'm going to prepare for you our uh, egg pasta. And it's going to be a thick noodle that I'm going to lay underneath the short ribs. So in this recipe, I'm using, believe it or not, it's got a feather on it. From this morning, um, these are 63rd Street Farm eggs, and they're fresh, and Brian brought them over this morning. So cheers, Brian. Here they go. And we are going to use in two cups of flour, I'm going to use four eggs. So I'm going to salt this uh, to taste again. I like, you know, I'm a salt queen. Okay, and we're just going to give it a light mix. It's shaping up nicely. It's got the consistency that I'm looking for. It is an egg color. It's no longer white. And it's mixing and it's balling, and that's the way I want it. So now I'm going to stop my mixer, let it down. As you can see, we have this beautiful egg ball. Okay, and I'm going to put this out, and I'm going to pat it down. I'm going to flour it up a little bit, and I'm going to play with the dough and give it a nice knead. Wow, that's a beautiful color. And you don't want it too dry. You want the dough nice and soft here. Put a little flour and just roll it out. Nice. And it feels nice and soft. And there you go. Have a look. I mean, that's, that's basically what I want it to look like. You're going to take the end of this, okay? Cut it, flatten it out, and get a little flour, pat it down. Oh, my mother's, my mother's homemade pasta. I mean, I do it the same way, but God, that woman's so talented. It just comes out. I think it's her hands of love that go all over the dough that just make it so amazingly good. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is run it through, set the settings, make it a wide setting, and just send that dough on through. Run it through a couple of times, get it to the, you know, just play around with your knobs here. I would go to three, then two, and you don't want a real thick noodle. Here we go. There we go. Now the thickness is here. This is perfect. Look at this. Gorgeous, beautiful pasta. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to put in my noodle cutter. I'm going to run it through slowly, and there we go. Look at this. Are they awesome or what? <laughs> Looks great. Now make sure you separate them because you don't want these bad boys to stick together. Just lay them out. I'm going to flour them so they don't stick together and you could hang them. What I do sometimes is I'll get a clothes hanger and I'll saran wrap that clothes hanger and so that it doesn't stick. But look at this pasta. This is fresh, just like mama makes. And coming up after the break, um, what I'm going to prepare for you is some beautiful mushrooms 
from my friend's farm on 63rd Street, Brian. I'm going to be preparing them with a saute and it's a balsamic reduction that I'm gonna do with them. So stay tuned. Congrats on your new Mazda. You're gonna love the close ratio six speed manual transmission. And with the Sky Active technology, you're gonna feel like you're in a race car. In a race car, in a race car, in a race car. <laughs> Stay. 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 Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Introducing the all-new 2014 Mazda 6. Lease one today for $249 a month for 36 months only at Mazda of Lakewood, Colorado's number one Mazda dealer. Hi, do you have a dark blue Dodge pickup with a black interior? Yeah, we've got a few of those right over here. How about a midnight black Chevy Aveo with under 5,000 miles? I've got a couple of those. Want to test drive one? A Metropolitan Gray Mazda 5 for under $15,000. You know we've got it. Let's go take a look. Mazda of Lakewood is the number one Mazda dealer with the largest certified pre-owned selection in the state of Colorado. So, yes, we've got it. Wow, she's good. I'll take it. Okay, hi, and welcome back. Right now, I'm going to be preparing these lovely mushrooms that I got from Brian at 63rd Street Farm. And I'm going to give them a nice chop. I heat up our pan, our little frying pan here. Half a stick of butter. And I'm going to melt that down. A little olive oil in there. So our butter doesn't burn. I'm going to put Two scallions in there, shallots, I mean, two shallots. Pinch of garlic, pinch of salt, again, pepper. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this is cooking away. My water is boiling for the pasta. Um, I'm gonna drop down my noodles. Here we go, beautiful. Put that in there. Gorgeous. Put a little salt in there. Perfect. My mushrooms are ready to go down into my little mixture here. There we go. Lower the heat. I would say about, uh, I want to say three fourths of a cup of balsamic vinegar. Smells amazingly. A little pepper. And there you have some wonderful, gorgeous mushrooms. Dump it out. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Put them back in a nice big pot. Put a little olive oil on it so they don't stick. I've had this braised beef cooking for about three hours. And there you have it. It is beautiful. So I am gonna move this over to the stove here and I'm gonna plate. We have our homemade egg noodles. And what I'm gonna do is put them on the plate with a nice little twist, put them there. I'm gonna add our braised short rib and they are literally falling from the bone. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oof. Now put on mushrooms right on top. And there you have your beautiful homemade egg noodles with your braised short ribs. And it is a beautiful little dinner with your balsamic reduced mushrooms right on top. Bon appetit, everyone. Enjoy. This is another meal done by Michelle at Tasteful Adventures. Hi, and welcome. Here you are, another adventure. No, I don't like it. Do it again. Hi, and welcome to another adventure. Ah, I would say right now. Oh, mouth. You see that now? Hi. Why am I doing this? Okay, it's not going right. Back around. Mm -hmm.